L A Y N A L E E. Okay, so you were in the car with your um, cousin the night that she was shot. Yeah. Can you just tell us exactly uh, what, what happened? Well, she picked me up from work. At, I got off like at 1.30. She picked me up. We were just driving like a back road. And then all of a sudden we like see a car behind us. We didn't know that, we don't know if the car was following us or anything. So then after the car tried, we thought the car was just gonna cut in front of us, but then it was going to at the same speed as us and then it shot one time and then we didn't know it was a gunshot so it sped up it passed us it went right in front of us and then we stopped because we thought like something cracked or something was wrong and then we uh, the car noticed that we stopped it backed all the way up next to us we thought the um, the other car was gonna like talk or something and then all of a sudden we just see the gun sticking out pointing right at us can you describe the gun this the gun was like long it was long skinny it shot like more than six times but it hit the bullet the uh, what's that the bullets were like six on her but he missed a few times it hit the door hit the window yeah what was you guys' reaction when the shots uh, started coming into the car once we saw that gun we started yelling we i i ducked my cousin my cousin her stomach was like in the way so all of, like all i could see her was she, she was just like on top of me like trying trying to block the bullet so we were just like yelling asking them to stop like begging them to stop they were still shooting and I was like, I'm going to call the cops. And then I guess the car noticed that there was cars coming up from the other lane. And then it just, that's when it just left. Did anyone stop and offer to help you guys? No, I got out the car, like tried to like look at, tried to like ask one of the cars to stop, but they just kept going. Were you able to see any of the, the people in the other car? That's the thing. The, inside the car was super dark. Like not, there was even no engine lights. We couldn't see anything at all. No, not even a body, not did even they, a figure. Did they say anything to you guys? No, they just like s stuck out their gun and just sh shot at us. So was it a rifle you think? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what kind of guns are there. And so was the person shooting, were they the driver or were they the passenger in the vehicle? Well, I'm saying there was two people cause the gun was like literally just pointing at us. If it was a driver, like he would like lean forward and like, you know, shoot. But that one looks like someone was just like at the passenger seat, just like pointing at it, pointing at us. But we didn't even see anybody, not even a, not even an arm. It was super dark in the car. The car had like really dark tint window. Yeah. And our windows was down too. That's how they were able to shoot too. And so you guys, um, after that, you pulled into the yeah. house, right? And was that mm -hmm. when you discovered that your cousin had been shot? Oh, when I when while they were shooting at us, I like I like I just like looked up, looked up a little, and I saw my cousin my cousin getting shot. So I already knew that she got shot. So what's that? When they left, I got out the car like trying to ask one of the cars to stop. They didn't stop. She was, she just told me we have to go to the house. We have to go to the house. So she managed. She drove all the way us here. And so when you guys pulled in here, what was the reaction from the family? They were all asleep. I ran, I ran inside, I started banging on her door. I started banging on the door, like calling the cops, banging on her door. And all of a sudden, her, her sister came out. I was like, hey, go check her, go check her in the car. I was just busy on the phone with the cops. How long did it take the cops to get her? Well, the cops it didn't take them long. It was just the ambulance. I called for an ambulance, but the dispatcher was just like, like she just took long. So we heard that your cousin was shot multiple times. Is that true? Yes. Do you know how many times and where she was shot? She mostly got shot on her arm, but the first shot was at, at, like at her jaw. Yeah. And how's the baby? The baby's fine. 
Yeah, thank God the baby's fine. And so your cousin is still in the hospital? Yes, she's still in the hospital. What, what have you heard from, from her about the, the, what the doctors are saying? Well, the doctors had to, um, they have, they have to like, I think do surgery for her, on her jaw to get the teeth out. Have you been to visit her at the hospital? Yeah, I stayed that one whole day. And how, what was her state of mind like? Hmm? She could still, she She remembers of... everything. She remembered what happened. We even talked about it. And she remembers, and she, like I even asked her, you saw, uh, in, the, you saw that nobody was in the car, right? It's like it was super dark. She even said, "Yeah." What would you say to people who are who are watching this? I would say, you know, be safe. Don't drive after twelve. Have always have somebody with you after twelve on the road. Yeah. Why do you think someone would do something like this? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but that person doesn't have a heart. You know, just shooting somebody randomly. That's just crazy. I I would I didn't think I would ever experience this, especially on Guam. Thank you, Nan.